Hi, I'm Dana Cowley and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. Today we're in Salem, Oregon, talking to your elected representatives and my guest today is Republican Representative Dennis Richardson. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. You are calling on the federal government for a government accountability audit of what has gone wrong with the rollout of Cover Oregon for health care. Yes, uh, we need to have a clear understanding of what's taken place. There's been over $300 million of federal money allocated toward Cover Oregon, the Oregon Health Exchange, and over $160 million has been spent, and yet no one's really been able to go to the website and sign up. We need to know what happened. Citizens of Oregon want to know what's behind the curtain. And you have got a petition rolling behind this as well. Yes, over 5,000 Oregonians have gone to my website, which is at uh, www.dennisrichardson.com, and it links to a newsletter that I send out that goes all over the whole state. And uh, I asked if they would like to see an audit of the federal by the federal government of Cover Oregon to join me in this request. So more than 5,000 have joined. Uh, that was presented to Congressman Greg Walden, and then he's been in touch with three other representatives in Congress, and they've talked to the GAO, and they've made a formal request for a federal audit of the entire Cover Oregon program so that we can find out what happened so that we don't have this kind of fiasco occur again. And you have also announced your candidacy for governor, and part of what's motivating you to run is you are not happy about how the governor has handled this situation so far. Well, absolutely. I, I've been in the legislature for, for 11 years. I was elected unanimously by the, the Republicans and the Democrats in the House to be Speaker Pro Tem. I've been co-chair of Ways and Means, which is the, the committee that actually forms the state budget. It's a $60 billion budget, so I understand how it works. But I'm tired of having us just talk about reform, talk about failed education, what we're going to do about it, talk about the fact that we have higher unemployment in Oregon than the national average and have since 1996. We have to have a governor who's willing to take the action that will help the economy, respect the environment, but let us make progress so we're not ex exporting our kids to other states to get a job, but exporting more of our services and products to other countries and other states. So if you're elected, what would you do differently to create jobs? Well, we've got to do a number of things. One is we can learn from other states that have a real recovery taking place. And what they've done is they removed the barriers to business. Instead of adding more regulations and more restrictions, they've said, what can we do to clear the environment so that businesses can grow? Because growing businesses sell more products, sell more services, and have to hire more people. That's going to be the key one of the keys for us to have an expanding economy so that we can have jobs that attract good businesses and give Oregon workers some place to work. We only have 30 seconds left, but we're in the short session, the days are numbered. What is your greatest priority, the thing you'd like to accomplish before the session ends? Well, I think that we should not do any damage. This is a very short session, and so what we need to do is look at what the potential unintended consequences are and learn from the experiences of other states rather than jumping into things when, we, when other states are, are experimenting with what they're going to do with those same issues. We can learn from the good things and avoid the bad. All right, thank you for your time. It's a pleasure. Appreciate you being here. This is Republican Representative Dennis Richardson. I'm Dana Cowley, and you're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest in Salem, Oregon.